Hey YouTube, it's uh, Nero2010 here. Going to be upgrading my uh, CPU cooler in my, on my computer today. Uh, upgrading to the ECO or Eco ALC Advanced Liquid Cooling for CPUs from Coolit Systems. Finally came in the mail. Um, just like that, that Canada Post really sucks. But aside from that, it's finally arrived, and we'll take a look inside the box um, just to show you quickly what I got in the case now. Is hopefully there's enough lighting, but that's a zero therm, and that's actually not that bad. I'm actually going to run a uh, Prime 95, and uh, I'm going to check out the temperatures on uh, maximum load under this cooler and then do the same thing with the liquid cooling system um, this isn't really designed for an i7 which I have in the in, on the motherboard right now um, it's actually not designed for a 1366 socket so this is something you should never do I'll show you guys out back normally they come with a proper back plate as you could tell I screwed it right on top of the metal piece that's on the back of the motherboard and uh, I don't know if I should actually be applying pressure to that plate back there. Hopefully, well, it didn't cause any damage. But who knows if I'm getting proper contact between the actual heat sink and the CPU. But let's go back to the box. Okay. So, looks like it opens up from this side. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, oh doesn't look like it. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, got her out. Broke a piece. So let's see what we get inside. There she is. The manual. Okay, so it's supposedly it's like super simplistic to install. It comes with all the proper back plates, just like you saw on my current one. Uh, I'm not using the right pro or the proper back plate. I don't know if I actually even got one with that cooler or if I threw it out by accident because I was using a different CPU at the time, just a quad core Q66 at the time. And there's the manual. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Okay, looks like the brackets that attach to. Yeah. Brackets that attach to the side of the the actual pump itself. I'm guessing. Let's see what's this? Elastic. And what the? There we go. Unbox plate. One thing I like that they actually did, it makes it so much easier, is uh, the 3M. You, you know it's going to stick to the back of the motherboard. And you're not going to have to like, screw around with the each side or anything like that. And last but not least, I don't know which one's going to fit. I'm assuming that it might be that one. They all look pretty much all the same, eh? Let's see. Let's see what's inside here. And there it is. I gotta say, it's really well packed. Really well packed. Oh, hard to get out. 
And then I can tell you about the specs if you want to check out the specs. Everything's uh, on their webpage, on the Cluid webpage. Wait, just give it one second. There we go. There it is. Hard to do with one hand. I guess I should have set up the tripod for this. And oh crap. There we go. Fine. And I don't know. This is like the first time I've ever seen like um, a liquid cooling system or any kind of radiator for a computer. Uh, it looks like a car radiator. Really, that's about it. The fan in the back. There's a pump. Right there. Eco. And already has thermal paste applied to the bottom of the copper plate at the bottom, which is pretty nice. Not gonna have to worry about it. So what I'm gonna do now is just fire up the computer. Gonna run Prime 95 with my uh, existing cooler. Uh, just uh, my uh, zero therm. And then I'm gonna power up uh, this guy. So let's check out some benchmarks first. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, so here's my uh, hardware monitor. So my CPU right now is at 37 uh, degrees Celsius in my current cooler. And there's each individual core right there. And I'm running an i7-920. And then up here, is I'm going to set up Prime 95. So what we'll do is... I'm going to set it up in place, large FFT, so maximum heat and power consumption, summary and tested. Alright, let's start it. There she goes. There's my monitor, as you can see. All CPUs are, or all cores are maxed out. And then, as you can tell, the heat starts going up. There's individual cores, and... I say we let it run for one minute or until it kind of stabilizes. So I'm going to let it run for maybe five minutes. So I'm going to turn off the camera and then turn it back on so you can see exactly what the maximum temperature is. And then I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to install the ALC Eco if it actually is actually easy to install. We're gonna find out together. Okay, so I've let it run for f uh, five minutes exactly and it's up to 75 degrees Celsius so I really don't feel like uh, torturing my CPU anymore so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this zero therm copper heat sink with fan so I don't know maybe I'll give a future uh, giveaway of this thing if it's uh, uh, 7 775 was it socket and uh, a 1366 socket so uh, it's done its duty pretty much but we're gonna see how this advanced liquid cooling system works out for me so let me take this guy out and then I'll show you guys the installation of the uh, Eco ALC